Um, Coach um, Dimir Miller, someone who you guys brought in um, in the transfer portal, just, you know, what, what sort of stands out to you about his game and what do you think he'll be able to bring to this wide receiver room? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's a little too early for to know exactly what he can bring. Uh, but we really liked his skill set when we watched his film from Ahmed. And uh, in, in the first two practices, you know, he, he's probably uh, – he might be even a little better than uh, I was thinking on, on the film. I'm just really excited to get a chance to work with him. He's an excellent young man. He's worked really hard since he's gotten here and really taken to the program. And you can tell the other guys really like him. Coach, you guys, uh, we always talk to you about quarterbacks. Um, I want to talk to you about tight ends. You guys didn't use them a ton last year, but I want to know specifically what you look for in a tight end. What do you mean we didn't use them? They, uh, they were in on terms the field, of, right? I guess, receptions and targets. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, we're just, for a tight end in our system, we're looking for uh, an athletic guy that can be a mismatch for people and then a guy that can uh, win the C-gap and block defensive ends in the Big Ten. We, that's the kind of guy we'd love to have in our dream. That's what we'd like. Kurt, you guys added a transfer quarterback that you have a lot of familiar, familiarity with. Uh, why did you, uh, take me through the process of bringing in Ethan, and do you think having that familiarity, having coached him, helps in the adjustment and just knowing what you can expect from him uh, as he you know, joins the team? Well, I think the process of bringing him in was, uh, you know, coach is always looking for an opportunity to strengthen the roster. It doesn't matter what position it is. Uh, that's the, the college football that we live in today. Uh, so, you know, it just gave us an opportunity to strengthen that position and, and which strengthens our roster, which can only, you know, make us be more competitive at the position and which can only make us better. It was pretty simple. You know, one of your big philosophies is always that you wanted to, as any good coach would, cater your offense and cater your play calling to the talent and strengths and experience you have on offense. Curious what you see in the personnel returning this year and what your early outlook in terms of uh, playing to that strength is. I think right now, you know, when I, I, I look at us in these first two practices, really what I'm, I'm trying to look at is are, are we better than when we left off at the, at the bowl game, okay? And, you know, I, the answer, Coach and I were talking, uh, to the first practice, and the answer was really simple: it was yes, we're better. Okay, um, and really, that's our whole philosophy. Chop is really about getting incrementally better every day. Uh, and I think the kids, uh, the strength staff's done a great job here in the winter. The kids have—I got to give them the credit. They've worked their butts off to, you know, to get incrementally better every single day, and it shows on the field. So, but we're way too—it's way too early to. Uh, Decide when spring ball is over is usually when I start to really try to analyze it. Uh, last year at the end of the spring, I felt like I can't yet. You know, it's going to have coach and I talked, and I'm like, we're, we're both in agreement. We're going to have to wait until I'm going to have to wait till training camp to get a better feel for it. But usually, um, the second year you're somewhere, usually you come out of spring ball with an idea of, you know, what's going to be your identity? How are you going to massage the talent that you have? Gavin said the other day that this offseason for him has been a lot about working on uh, his fundamentals, kind of getting back to basics. Did you see anywhere over the course of last season, maybe towards the end, and this could be normal for any quarterback, where maybe his fundamentals started to get out of whack a little bit and kind of needed to be realigned in this offseason just to, so that he's more consistent? I, I think uh, that's really an overlooked area in quarterback play. Um, you know, the, the proper fundamentals – of uh, you know being able to coach a, it's a rotational movement to throw, and there's a lot of stuff on Twitter and all that right now. But I, honestly, I don't think there's a lot of people that understand it and really can do a great job in in coaching it. Uh, so I, I think that's an area that all the quarterbacks are working on. And luckily, um, you know, we have a situation here where um, we have some people that are experts in that area and that can help the guys in that area and and do that and. So we're excited to have it. But I think it's an area that every quarterback's always working on. You know, if you're just a little bit better fundamentally, um, you're, you're, these, these high kids are so talented throwing the ball that they can complete a ball 47 out of 50 times and not be fundamentally sound on all of them. But our point is if we were just a little bit better fundamentally, maybe we could complete 49 of them. You know, that's four more completions out of 100. 
that affects your completion percentage, and you never know which play could change the story in the game. So he's, he, Gavin's worked really hard at it. Coach has said the past couple of years that this team will go as far as the offensive line will go. I'm just curious, where have you seen the line? Where do you see the development and the growth? Well, I thought they grew a lot last year. I really did uh, from the beginning of the season to the end of the season, you know, and, and I'm hoping to see that continued, continued growth. You know, we're really in this phase right now where, you know, we're trying to master things. We're trying to master the offense. They're trying to master their techniques and stuff right now. And, and if we can do that, we'll, our reactions will be better and we'll be even better there, you know. But I'm really pleased with, you know, their, their work ethic and the job that Coach Flats is doing with them. Coach, I want to ask you about Nassim Brantley. I know he technically wasn't with the team, working with the team last year, but he's back now. I'm sure you've seen his tape. What kind of stands out about him? Yeah, um, the the thing you saw on his tape is, you know, he did a great job of going after the football. He had really good hands, uh, really attacked the football. So I'm, I'm, I'm hoping to see that. Um, in the first two days, he's had a couple of chances uh, to make some plays for us, and he did. And the, the, he, I think he caught a post uh, the first day. He just went up and attacked the football. And it was really cool to see because, like, that's what you saw on his film. And, you know, to see it in practice really gets you a little bit excited. We'll go Brian, Pat, and Christian finish. Uh, what does Ethan bring? What are his strengths? And just what does he add to the quarterback room? Well, he, you know, he has a Big Ten experience. You know, he's been a Big Ten starter. I, I, I don't know. I think he started 16 or 17 games in the Big Ten. So there's no substitute for experience. Um, obviously, he has some familiarity with the system and familiarity with me. So I think that helps him a little bit. Um, but the biggest thing is it just it brings competition to the position. Um, maybe a little bit more stability there when you're adding another quality guy at a position, it adds depth. You know, year one, I guess a, a big part of your role was implementing the offense and getting the team and players to understand uh, the system. Uh, what's, what's the goal for year two? Uh, obviously, it's not a new offense. What, what would be your goal? My goal, like, it's the same every day. I, I just want to see incremental improvement every single day. It drives me. The results will take care of itself. You know, I've been doing this a long time. I understand that I'm going to get judged on the results at the end of the season. You know, I, I, I know that, you know, but I'm not going to – that's not what drives me. It, what I'm in control of is making sure that we're chopping every day, that we're intentional, and that we're getting the incremental improvement every single day. And when I see that – um, I'm pleased. I really am. Final question. Ethan was talking with us a couple days ago about um, just his relationship with you as an offensive coordinator, familiarity. When he became available in the portal, how important was it that you could find a quarterback who knew you but also knew the system? Yeah, I, I think that's you know was very attractive to us. You know the fact that he knew the system, uh, he knew me. I knew what his work ethic was like. I knew what type of person he was. I knew that he would fit in our culture. Um, so I, I was really excited about the opportunity to bring him here, you know, and because I know it strengthens our roster and it was going to make the position better. Thanks, Coach.